bit, but like you guys have been like my spiritual spiritual parents since I moved back to Texas, and I'm very grateful for that. Um, and yeah, no, I wish there was more that we could do for you. So we just kind of chose today to appreciate you and honor you guys for all that you've done for us from doing sound when it's not your forte or worship, when it's, it just needs to be done. And I see that, and I know we all see that. The behind the scenes things, the in front of the house kind of things, like there's gotta be a million things, and we know you guys have this to-do list that never ends, and I'm so sorry, and I wish I could help. <laughs> um, so yeah, I just transform like I just feel like that works in so well, like from our pastor from Columbia to what you're talking about to what I feel like needs to be said, like yeah, <laughs> from the deep rest re recesses in our heart. I don't know if that's the right word. But like from the deepness of our heart, like we hear you, we see you, <laughs> all the things that go on seen and unseen and um no, it's great and we're so thankful for you guys. So Churchill, if you want to come up here now. Praise God. Hallelujah. Well, I've just uh, known Pastor Martins for just about a year. And you know, uh, what struck me most about him is his heart for God. He just loves God, and you can just see that he loves God. I was in an American airline aircraft doing my job. I was in a night shift, and he just uh, bumped into me. He saw my tag. And he said, Churchill? I said, yes. So, how ah, do you know Winston Churchill? He said, he's his favorite character of all people. I'm like, you know, we were talking about Winston Churchill. He was so excited. And he said, by the way, do you go to church? I said, yeah, are you a Christian? He said, yeah. He said, I would love you to come to church and fellowship with me. He told me everything about the church is running in Ivy, that he just believed in God, that I should come and all that. And he kept calling me. And I came and I met with the wife. Honestly speaking, this. Uh, these few months that I've known him, uh, he doesn't joke or compromise what it means to be righteous in God. He lets you know that uh, you don't have to self-condemn yourself, that Christ has paid the price and you are free to worship God, you are at liberty, you don't, don't be legalistic, be free, and you know, that is just awesome. And in fact, that has really impacted me, even though I've been a Christian for more than 40 years plus, but it's good to be assured that you are the righteousness of, 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 of God in Christ. Hallelujah. So I really want to thank him for the love he had, the way he's pushing, the way he's just going, knocking on doors and preaching to souls. In fact, it is it's even more difficult in, a, in an advanced society like in the U.S. because most of us in Africa, we, we literally just believe God for everything. So it is not difficult, it's not too hard to trust God because you trust God for your job, you trust God for the meal you eat, you trust God for the car you're driving. But even in electricity, you trust God that you come and all that. But you know, everybody has everything in this kind of society. So when you talk about God, they don't really, they don't really are so pushy. And for him to, to be riding this wave, you know, moving everywhere, talking to people about God and all of that without unwavering. You know, um, in zeal is amazing. I just want to thank him and the wife for the great job they are doing. And I just want to say that God will continue to empower you and enrich you and bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Please, people, put your hands together for Pastor Matthew and Alexander. Hallelujah. Oh, 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 oh. oh. We and Crystal decided to come up together because we were a little nervous. <laughs> <laughs> um, so last night, Jessica texted me, and I had no idea there was such thing as a Pastor Appreciation Month, but I think that's so awesome. Um, and she asked that I share my appreciation for you guys. And I thought to myself, heck yeah, do you know how long I've been waiting to brag on my pastors to everybody? Um, a couple of weeks ago, I had wrote a post on Facebook. And so I'm going to read the post on Facebook that I shared with my followers here. Let's see. Sorry. Okay, so I said I'm so overwhelmed with gratitude today and I just wanted to take a moment to brag on my pastors. 
Alexandra and Martin. God is using these amazing individuals to guide me. And if y'all know me, I need a whole lot of guidance. He sent them to me with the perfect amount of grace and patience. I cannot express to you, express to you how blessed I am to have met them. Thank you, Pastor Martin and Pastor Alexandra, for constantly reminding me of the endless love God has for me. These, I'm sorry, I'm getting a little bit emotional, but these individuals have impacted my life in a way that I cannot even fathom. And it's not only impacted me, it's impacted my entire family, down to my dad. I, my dad comes to church now, and I have these two people to thank for that. When I see my kids on a daily basis reference God or Jesus, I have them to thank for that because they're so persistent and they're so genuine with our faith walk and help them to grow that. I love you guys from the bottom of my heart. You guys are awesome. So I did not prepare anything because <laughs> like, I don't, I, it's just, I feel like they've done so much and for me it's like, there was no point to prepare anything because I just felt like what I'm going to say is just what I feel. So I think I came here last year, so I've been here for like I think a year. And I'm going to be honest, I did not like church <laughs> at all. But then, like, I came here and it was different. I felt like I was accepted and, like, I belonged somewhere. And I didn't feel like I was forced to come to church. I actually felt like I was learning. And it was a whole new experience. So when I came here and I met Alexandra and Martin, I felt happy that I finally like you know I could count on somebody that was going to be here for me no matter what I knew that if I needed help in something they'd fight for me and just I don't know <laughs> like now I'm up here <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna be honest I'm a, okay I'm not a shy person but I am <laughs> I'm a person. so for me to be like up here and like talking to all of y'all, it's like, I can see myself like, I'm not the same anymore. I've like progressed and like, now that I'm here, I don't know. I really, like, I love them to death. So if something happens to y'all, oh my God. <laughs> you know, and now that like, I've developed a big relationship with y'all and I feel like I can really count on all of y'all. So for me to just be here every Sunday or like try to be here, it's a blessing because like I never thought I would have gotten to this point. And yeah. So that's why I'm grateful for the Sunday morning. Okay, you all know them as pastors. I know them as son and daughter. Mm -hmm. And um, I just want to say they practice what they preach. They're genuine, they love you all, and they, this church is their life, it is their heart, and they have given their whole hearts to it. And uh, I have watched them, I'm proud of them. I, have, I, I just believe that we are going to go out and we are going to fill this church. Oh yeah, preach it. <laughs> and, uh, you can always rely on Alexandra and Martin. They will always, they will always be there for you. That you truly are in their hearts, seven days a week. It's not just Sundays. That this is a full time ministry for them, and it, and it's twenty four seven. Paperback. <laughs> wow. Well, thank you. Thank you. We love you. We love you all. 
Um, thank you. <laughs> we do love you. And um, Jessica, um, I just want to say, never in my mind did I think that anybody would do this for us. And, um, and, I, and I know you headed it up, because you're probably the only one that even knows about it. <laughs> so, um, so thank you. And um, can you come here a second? I just want you to know that we love you, and we see you, and we appreciate all that you do. You're a pastor due to the youth, so. Yes. And so we want to thank you for your service to our youth, to this body. And you're going to be a pastor one day. <laughs> and so she, she already is. She just needs a title now. Yeah, no, official. So, official. So thank you for all that you've done. You've been with us since forever. <laughs> we love you. Thank you. For those of you who don't know, we, we really have, we've known Jessica since she was a teenager, and um, I'll never forget um, just meeting her, and then she was in youth, actually, with my children, and leaders with them as they led the youth, and then um, she came to me one day and said, can you teach me to be a woman of God, <laughs> after she graduated high school, and I'm like, my pleasure. And actually, before that, even, um, I did a, a study with the young teenagers who were in high school, right? Kind of high school or junior college, I don't remember. But anyway, it was the joy of my life. And um, I've already appreciated her view and her perspective. And um, so thank you, Jessica. And you, you right there are a product of what we believe that God has and what God wants for each and every one of you. Because he wants to use us all. And that's really our goal. And so thank you all. We love you with all of our hearts. Thank you, Jessica, for your service. Thank you all. Thank you. Man, yeah, I, I guess I